in the campaign, Fuliza was a very popular word in our campaign. And, uh, and I'm happy that you are listening. And because you are listening, today you have made uh, a very positive uh, statement on matters for Liza. First, I am very happy that between four and five million Kenyans will by end of uh, uh, by beginning of November, they will be out of the black listing. That is very important. <laughs> very important because these four million Kenyans have been excluded from any formal borrowing because of blacklisting, and they have been left at the mercy of Shylocks and predatory lenders that exploit them. And many Kenyans pay as much as a thousand percent for credit. The fact that they will now be out of that space is a very positive development. And I want to commit here that the government of Kenya is not against credit listing or credit bureau uh, facilities. In fact, we support CRBs as a mechanism of instilling financial discipline in our financial sector. What we are asking, and I think we are on the same page on this, and I've had a long conversation with the governor, what we are asking is we don't want credit listing to be an all or nothing, in or out engagement. We want credit listing to be a facility that gives everybody a chance to be their best in their own time. Instead of saying you are in or out, we should have a credit scoring mechanism so that we have graduated from the least to the best. And everybody can have a chance, even if you are somewhere at the bottom, you can always walk your way up as you learn the ropes in the financial sector. So um, I am happy Governor has told me they are having engagement with the CRBs so that we can change the credit uh, listing mechanism. Instead of blacklisting, we can have a graduated mechanism that allocates rating on every citizen that is borrowing in the manner in which they have borrowed and in the manner in which they have paid back. That happens even for countries when we are borrowing money from IMF, from the World Bank. That is a universal principle of rating people on, uh, or scoring people on uh, matters uh, credit. So that development is a very, develop a very positive uh, development for the millions of Kenyans who suffer great loss. They are excluded from for, uh, formal borrowing and they are also excluded from many other things. Some people lose jobs. Some people lose opportunity to be hired because when they are asked to bring their uh, credit uh, listing uh, 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 status, if you are blacklisted, then you are told you are not a very good person. So that will now redeem close to four million Kenyans. And I want to say to Safaricom and your partners, you're walking in the right direction. <laughs> Secondly, we have agreed, and I am happy the CEO of Safaricom has announced here that access to Fuliza, the interest rate will come down by 50%. That is a step in the right direction. And many people will benefit from this step. I am very confident that we can do more and we can do better. And I want to encourage Safaricom and your partners to continuously assess this facility so that progressively 
we can move towards a much more favorable interest regime that gives majority of Kenyans the opportunity to have flexible arrangements on their financial requirements. I also want to say the following, that um, Fuliza is addressing a certain category of uh, borrowers on short term. As you have indicated yourselves, there is more traction towards 14 days, 11, 14 days. It should speak to you that you need to think about other instruments and other facilities that should be able to take care of a slightly longer term borrowers. I also want to state here that the government of Kenya, and I have the nominee for Treasury here and the nominee for ICT here, we are going, these two gentlemen will be working with you in the financial fintech space because we want to work on credit, especially for our micro, small, and medium enterprises. That is the space where we have the largest opportunity. That is the space that employs almost 80% of our population, and yet they are constrained by access to credit. I have listened to many of them in the campaign trail. I was giving these good people an example of Shiko in Ruaka Market and her team. They borrow a million shillings every day and they pay as high interest as 10% per day, which translates into 3,600% per year. Shiko and her team, they don't want free money. They are telling me, Mr. President, can we pay the same interest that Kenya Breweries is paying? Can we pay the same interest that the big companies are paying? That's all they are asking, and I don't think it's too much to ask. So, progressively, and the assignment I'm going to be giving to these two gentlemen is to work with you in the private sector to develop a product where Shiko, a mamamboga in Ruaka, and a boda boda person can also have access to credit at single digit rate. And I am willing to work with you in a public-private arrangement so that we can mitigate some of the risks that come with lending to that category of Kenyans. I am very confident. I am very confident that if we give Shiko and her team, and many of them in Kenya, the opportunity to borrow at single digit interest rate, they can double, if not triple, their business.